Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick screencast on working through this example. Hopefully you've been through some of the previous examples and you've looked at the basics uh, videos from Matrix. Um, so you should be familiar with how flow code works and what we're doing. So I'm just going to work through this. We can see we've got the PDF down the bottom corner here and we've got flow code over here. So I'm going to work through this for, for the first time. And so you know, any mistakes that I make, hopefully you can avoid. Right, so it says we're doing binary logic in control. So it's Boolean logic, so that's yes, no, if, else, and, that kind of stuff. We talked about truth tables before. So that's, that's where we're going with this. So we've got a microwave. Uh, for safety reasons, not operate if the door is open, put another way the generator so the microwave can only be on if the door is closed and we've pressed the reheat my coffee button. Okay. So here's our flow code program. So we've got a little picture of that here and we've got the instructions here. So it uses a loop. So the first thing I'm going to do then is I'm just going to copy what we can see in that diagram. So let's start to drag that along. So I've already got a loop set up there. Um, right, so we need an input um, there. And then we need another input. So we've got two inputs. So those are the two things that we're checking for. Have we switched it on? And uh, is the door open? And then we've got a calculation. So the calculation is a calculation. There's a calculation. And then we've got a decision. And then we have an output. Okay. Let's just scroll down a little bit there. And on our decision, we also have an output. So that's there. And then we have another calculation. Okay. And we have another decision. And we have another output. And we have a delay, which goes there. And that, oh, we've got a random output here. Hmm. Right, let's ditch that. So we should have, let's just check, a loop. Yeah, two input icons. Input, input, one, two. Um, three output icons. One, two. Oh, I'm missing an output. There, that's why I'm missing an output. I'm missing an output there. There we go. Um, okay, three outputs, uh, two decision icons, one, two, two calculation icons, one, two, and a delay icon. There we go. So we've got all the <coughs> things in place. So it says create four variables. So let's go over here to add new variables. Um, so door, there we go. Uh, and that's going to be a Boolean value, isn't it? Because it's either open or closed. And we'll say that's an initial value of zero uh, in absence of any other information. Uh, control. So store the on-off control switch. That's going to be a Boolean value as well. Okay. Um, okay an initial value of zero in the absence of any other information. Output. Control with the microwave switch is on or not. So again, that's another... Uh, boolean value isn't it so output there's our variable so that's either true or not and let's initialize that with a, with a zero as well um, and count so ah ah, ah no uh, no sesame street jokes okay count uh, and that's going to be a byte because it were we're um, you know, number up to 10 at least so and that says to give an initial value of nine Okay, right, so that's all our variables set up. It says use the default configuration for the loop icon. Configure one input icon to store the state of the door switch on port in the variable door. So let's just have a look at our picture here. So our, right, so input, so our first input, and just double click there, input name. Or switch, uh, and that's on port A, and that's variable door. 
you can see there from the let's just get from that zero. Okay, there we are. Part A door. Door switch A O door. That's that's okay. We can, we can do that. Uh, next we've got our control switch input. So I'm, I'm just just looking at what we've got here on, on the control switch. Um, so display name would be um, control switch. So by that we mean the, the, the control on the on the microwave, don't we? Um, and that variable is going to be control. Okay. And let's say okay for that. All right. Um, configure one input icon to store the state of the door switch on port A in the variable door. So we've done that. Uh, configure the other input icon to store the state of the control switch on port A bit 1. So port A bit 0, port A single bit 0, okay. And that was bit 1, wasn't it? Okay, right. Okay. Um, and port A bit 1 in the variable control. The upper calculation icon checks to see whether the door and control switch have been pressed. Configure it using the equation output equals control and door. Does exactly what it says on the tin. In fact, I might even copy and paste that. Control C. And let's see if we can do that, shall we? So calculation. Does that work for us? Uh, calculation dis display name <coughs> door and switch. There we are. Okay. Output equals is that I don't know, I don't know if that's okay. Seems to be okay, doesn't it? It's not giving me a, 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 an error. Okay. The AND signifies the AND operation. There we go. That's, that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? Uh, the result of this operation, 0, 1, is stored in the variable output. Yes, because we've said output there. Okay. Good. Right. Have we got that variable? Yes, we do. We've got that variable. There it is. Excellent. That's good. Right. Okay. This is exciting, isn't it? The upper decision icon checks the value stored in output. If output, question, is shorthand for if output equals one. Configure the decision icon. Okay, so we're saying, um, so if um, output, question mark. Oh, that's exciting. Um, no, that's that's not working at all, is it? Okay. Shall we say equals one? Do we need a question mark after that? No. Okay. I'm just going to go with that. Okay. Configure the decision icon. So if output equals one, then yes. Okay. So we've said. So let's go through this. So we've got the door switch, control switch with the door closed. Have we pressed the button to new car coffee? Uh, yes, we have. Yes, we have. Um, output equals. So if we've got a one there and a one there, then this value calculation stores a one in the value output. And then we're checking to see if output equals one. If output does equal one, then we start our microwave. If output doesn't equal one, then we don't start our microwave. Okay, that's, that seems clear so far, doesn't it? So let's carry on down here. Um, when the result of the calculation is zero, the program follows the no route from the decision icon, and the left-hand output, output icon is executed. So we go to here, so that's this one. Um, this sends zero to the LED, ensuring that it and the microwave is switched off. When the result calculated, yes, so we've just said that. Okay, excellent. Uh, the lower calculation icon reduces the number stored in the variable count by one. Configure it using equation 
equals count equals count minus one. So okay. All oh, right. So this is the timer. Excellent. Okay. Um, so let's let's do that. Um, so uh, count equals count minus one. Okay. Is that still still a thing? Yeah. Okay. Seems happy with that. Okay. Right. So timer count equals count minus one. Let's let's just. Yep, our countdown they've called it. Yeah, count, count, no, count equal. Turn on. Right, okay. So no, it's told us what to do with the um, with the input from the timer yet? I don't think it has, has it? Let's just double check. Um, configure the other input to store. Right, okay. Yeah, am I missing something? Right, okay. The initial count, the initial value of count is 10. Provide the number stored in count does not reach zero, the program falls in the no root. Eventually, after looping enough times, the number stored reduces to zero. Okay. Um, right, so. And the result of the calculation is zero, and the program falls in the no, I got them the right way around. Right, okay. Hopefully it's going to tell me, give me a little bit more information there. Um, add a switch array to the system panel. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go to outputs. No, inputs. Switches and input. Switches, switch array, slide. The slider switches aren't in the picture. So just drag that over. Excellent. Um, I click on properties. You may have the properties uh, dialog docked. So let's just drag that across. No, oh, that's, that's exciting, isn't it? Let's share. Um, right. Okay. No, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, I'll tinker with that later. Right, uh, so we want two switches, don't we? So let's change that count to two. Okay. Uh, well, it's going to be less excellent, isn't it? There we go. Uh, I'm just going to close that. So we've got two switches. Excellent. And I'm going to just configure this over. Um, and switch array to the system panel. Configure it to only have two switches. We're connected to port A. Bits in one, they're connected to port A, bit one. Okay, so again, we're going to properties and let's have a look. So that needs to be port A. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got A0 and A1. So that works, doesn't it? Yeah, excellent. Okay. Right, that's good. Um, so now we need a label, and that's in creation. Um, and there we see we've got the label option. So let's just drag that over. Um, so we'll put that there. Right click, properties, uh, type label, handle. It says label, text, there we are. So heating control. Heating control, okay. There we go. All right, and we'll get another label creation label. We'll drag that up to here, and that will call door. No, I've got that the wrong way around, haven't I? No, everyone's heating control. That's good. Okay, right. Uh, right click properties, label door. Okay, excellent. Good. So you should love when a plan comes together. Right, that's looking about right. Output, we've got an LED. So, output um, LED. <coughs> Let's go for a, 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 I don't know, what does it say? Um, add an LED. It doesn't specify, does it? Let's, let's have a look, see if this is the... That looks about right, doesn't it? Looks okay to me. Okay. Um, 
is connected to port B bit zero. So properties port A port B okay port B zero okay excellent happy days look at that right cooking on gas he says um well I'm excited well not really Right, okay, so we need to do something with that output on the yes thing, don't we? So, um, right, so let's go to our no output. I'm just looking at our diagram here. Um, that's called turn off. Turn off. And we want to output a zero. And um, we want to output that to B. So that's port B, zero single bit. Okay, excellent. So that's now looking like that. Um, and the output here is going to be turn on. I just need to be a capital letter, turn on. And that's also port, port B0. Okay, so that's a single bit. And <clears throat> that's going to take its value from. So I'm going to take its value from anywhere. That's going to be a one, isn't it? Yes, single bit one. Right, okay. Yes, so if there's a yes, then we send a one down. And then we send a one down, so we do a count equals count minus one. And then it says time up, so if count equals zero, then we turn off. If not, we go down and back. Hmm, that's interesting. Should surely the no should go go take us back to the count. Hmm. Let's have a look. Uh, so we need to say a decision. Um, time up. Okay. Um, if count equals zero, so let's um, count equals zero uh, okay uh, if count equals zero yes then we output uh, no we go back to here what does that do for those okay uh, and we want a delay of not one millisecond but one second because our counter um, goes in seconds okay so one second so technically I think We've got everything there. Shall we see? Shall we see if it works? Look at that, and hopefully after 10 seconds, it should go off. Ten seconds. Yes, look at that. Brilliant. Oh, happy days. Oh, that's good, isn't it? So that's exciting. So hopefully I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do that again because I can. Heating control, doors not closed, no microwave on, coffee still cold. Doors closed, not press the button to nuke me coffee, coffee still cold. Press the button to nuke me coffee, coffee's being nuked. Eh, that's good, isn't it? Look at that. Um, what we can also do is, he says, can we, can we do this? No, okay. Okay, fantastic. There we are. And I think, I think that's it. We've, we've kind of worked our way through, uh, through all these, all these, um, 
Uh, add an LED port, add labels to the system panel, position them using world coordinates under the position tab of the label. Just drag them. Um, now I'll simulate the program step by step using the FAQ repeated. The chill off has different combination switch states. Okay, fantastic. Good, right. And I'm going to stop there and uh, I'll get this uploaded. Thank you very much.